You may have seen some videos saying English is weird, or maybe you've read one of these top lists, top 10 reasons English makes no sense. Yeah, they list a number of reasons, but in fact, they usually focus on one or two things about the language, really. Want to hear a linguist's perspective? Then stick around and let's take a look at the top five reasons English is supposedly weird. Hi, welcome to Snap Language. I'm Mark Franco. Hey, did you know many Snap Language videos have links to supplemental materials on our website? It could be an article, instructional materials, worksheets for language learners. Always check video descriptions for supplemental materials. Whenever you see one of those top lists about the oddities of the English language, you end up seeing pretty much a couple of things disguised as many. Let's look at them with a critical eye. Reason number one, spelling. Yes, everybody knows how inconsistent spelling is in English. A favorite example is the letters O-U-G-H. Enough, rough, and tough all rhyme. So do cough and trough, plow, bow, and sow, dough, though, and furlough, thought, thought, and bought. Burrow and thorough. Oh, and through rhymes with slew, sometimes. There's been some official and unofficial standardization of some of these spellings, as in hiccup, plow, and through, but people resist spelling reforms. That's probably because the inconsistency in spelling doesn't really bother people that much. People are used to the supposedly weird spelling of a word, and they're fine with it. Sometimes I write through and though in text messages because it's faster, but thought or thought would seem um, weird. So what's really weird here? There's little correspondence between spelling and pronunciation in English, but it doesn't really bother people enough to make them want to change it. For a linguist, spelling is just a lot of conventions for one aspect of the language, writing. Historical linguists sometimes look at the spelling of a language because it can be like a fossil that gives you clues about how words used to be pronounced way back in the past. You see, there's something called historical spelling. It happens when a language changes over time, but its spelling doesn't. That explains, for example, all the silent letters in night. Originally, in Old English, the word was knicht where you pronounce the C with a K sound and the H with a throaty or guttural sound. Over time, the pronunciation changed, the H changed to GH in Middle English, and we ended up with night. This process resulting in historical spelling affected many words in English, but still, I wouldn't call that weird. Reason number two, ah, homographs. Homographs are words that are spelled the same but have different meanings. They may sound different. You read something, you read something. A uh, bass is for playing, a bass is for cooking, unless you want to play a fish. If you're content with the content of a box, you're happy with what's inside. There are 60 minutes in an hour. There are minute organisms. Sometimes homographs are homonyms, that is, they sound the same but have different meanings. No one's fine when they have to pay a fine. The subject of a sentence, the subject of a kingdom. The next reason is kind of an identical phenomenon. Reason number three, homophones. Homophones are spelled differently, sound the same, but mean different things. You put a flower in a vase, but flower in a cake. They sell phones. They're cell phones. My son likes the sun. Reasons 1, 2, and 3 are mentioned a lot. It's almost as if they're recycling these tidbits of information into endless clickbaity videos and blog articles. But if you look at them closely, you realize that they all have to do with spelling and semantics. But does that make English any weirder than other languages? 
Historical spelling is not unique to English. Languages like Dutch, Portuguese, German, Russian, and Indonesian, to name a few, underwent spelling reforms relatively recently to realign their spelling with the spoken language. There have been some limited attempts in English, but it's complicated. We could do a whole video on that. When it comes to homophones, for example, Japanese has a lot of them. A lot. Au, aki, arawasu, ha, nami. Common homophones and homographs in Spanish are oro, la ama, fuiste, onda, onda, and in Portuguese, grama, rio, canto, manga. In Dutch, bank, sla, nar, lijken. In German, zeite, zeite. Tor, heute, heute, Stadt, Stadt. So the spelling in English is not phonetic. It has homographs and homophones, and that's normal in other languages. Then why is normal weird? Reason number four, irregular plurals. These top lists love bringing up that you say foot, feet, but not book, beak. You say louse, lice, mouse, mice, but you don't say blouse, blies, or house, heis. Again, irregular plurals are not exclusive to English. Take a language like Arabic. It has dozens of rules for plurals. Plurals in Arabic are crazy irregular. If irregular plurals is a way to measure how weird a language is, then some other languages would be considered even weirder. When people say the plural of goose is geese, so the plural of moose should be meese, well, that's not meant to be an actual analysis of English. It's kind of a dad joke. The thing is that a lot of people take it seriously at some level, especially when many videos and articles keep passing these dad jokes for linguistic analyses. Reason number five, inconsistencies in pronunciation. We have an expectation that words should be pronounced a certain way. The word for apple is apple. If you pronounce it opal, it's a different word, right? But English has many inconsistencies in pronunciation. I always say roof, but some people say roof, room, room. For some people, Mary and Mary are homophones. For others, Mary and Mary sound different. Do you say envelope or envelope? Pecan, pecan, or pecan? Adult or adult? The superficial way to analyze this is to say English is weird. A linguist would put this into context, though. Having many ways to pronounce words doesn't mean that English speakers use these pronunciations randomly. Actually, people are pretty consistent. We learn the language in a social and cultural context. If you learn English where people say pecan or I'm fixing to go, you'll likely say the same, and so will people in your in-group. Languages have regional dialects with differences in pronunciation, syntax, phonology, semantics, and so on. These differences can be a nightmare for people learning English as a second language, but dialectal differences among English speakers doesn't make the language weird. It just means the language is alive. Language changes over time, and it changes differently in different geographical areas. In any language, not everyone sounds alike everywhere. Well, this is my top five list of reasons English is supposedly weird, but not really. It's fun to look at the language and realize that there are inconsistencies in it. Some of them are pretty amusing, but English is no more or less weird than any other language. What seems to be an inconsistency on the surface actually makes sense when you look under the hood and when you analyze the language in context. Here and here sound the same, but the context generally disambiguates the meaning. So you have no trouble telling these words apart in let's go someplace quiet, I can't hear you very well here. 
you expect the verb in the sentence here and an adverb here. So you hear, 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 and you hear, hear, hear. Sorry, that was kind of a dad joke. If the language were really as inconsistent, confusing, and weird as people make it out to be, we'd have a really hard time using and understanding it. If that were the case, the speakers of the language would probably start changing it so it made sense. But we love English just as it is because of all the puns and dad jokes we get out of it. And remember that two peanuts were walking down the street. One was assaulted. The other one liked and shared this video and subscribed to Snap Language. So until the next time, thanks for stopping by and watching this video. How do you organize a party in space? Planet. Bye.